Hello, Moro, Sheridan families. This is Miss Rosa. I'm speaking on behalf of Mr. Marks and myself for our PE department at Moro Sheridan. Um, just so you know, I will put this in your child's Google Classroom so you can go back to this um, slideshow or presentation anytime, just in case I go too fast. Um, so you'll always have access to it. So let's begin our presentation. So welcome back. We are very excited to begin a new year with you and your child. Um, please go through this slideshow um, so you hear all the requirements and policies for our PE class um, so your child is pre prepared for our activities. Our grading policies. Students will earn points for each class they attend. The total points earned will determine their grade at the end of the marking period, and all the grades are updated in PowerSchool bi-weekly. Uh, Mr. Marks and I see all the students in the building all year long, so um, please give us that wiggle room of updating grades bi-weekly just because we do have so many classes. All students must wear their uniform colors and sneakers to participate in physical activities. Otherwise, if they don't have their sneakers, that's a zero. Um, I'll go over that more in a moment, but sneakers are really important um, for safety. Um, notification to parents or guardians will be made if your child has a 79, which is a C plus or lower by the midterm, um, uh, the midterm of the marking period. So you'll either get a progress report, an email or a dojo message from me or a phone call. And then this one's really important just in case your child is injured in school or out of school for whatever reason. If they have a short or long-term medical excuse, they must have a written note from their doctor to excuse them from participating in class. Um, also, a copy should go to the nurse and a copy should be made for us, depending if your child has me or Mr. Marks. Um, and a note sometimes will be needed for your child to come back to participate in class. So depending on the severity of the injury, um, sometimes the doctor puts a date on the medical note saying that your child can begin participating on a Wednesday, September 22nd. Or if there is no date, that means that your child will have to go back to the doctor to be cleared um, and will have a new doctor's note saying that they are able to play. This is just to keep your child safe um, and to not um, aggravate their inner, inner injury anymore. So if you have any questions about that, please reach out. This is the grading rubric for grades three through eight. So as I said, they get points for each class. They get a total of four points for their participation and four points for their behavior each class. And four points is outstanding behavior, three points is average, uh, two points is below average, and then one point is unacceptable. Um, so this goes into power school. They have a participation grade every class and then a behavior grade every class. And um, I'll put this in their Google Classroom so you can read through it on your own. And then this is the grading rubric for kindergarten into grade two. Um, same thing, they get four points for participation and four points for behavior, um, exceeding expectations, meeting expectations, approaching expectations, or they do not meet our expectations. Um, and again, these grades will go into power school. Um, I'll put this in their Google Classroom so you could read through it at your own pace. PE uniforms for grades five through eight, so our middle school blue shirt people. Um, this is an active class, so it is important for your student to dress appropriately um, while remaining in their uniform. So that's why I have khakis here, but some kids prefer to be a little more comfortable in their blue sweat pants or their blue shorts, um, and obviously a blue t-shirt. If they have one instead of the collared shirts, that is fine. Um, the main point is that we keep it navy for our middle school kids. Mask is required. Um, and then sneakers, okay? So if you see here in um, yellow, blue jeans are not a part of the school uniform. They are not comfortable to move around in. Um, so please no blue jeans. And then also work boots, fashion boots, slippers, flats, and now the very popular Crocs um, and sandals are not considered appropriate footwear for PE class. So we need to make sure we have a nice, comfortable sneaker that we can move safely uh, throughout the gym in. Okay, and then I always tell my middle school kids that they can leave an old pair of sneakers in my office 
So, you know, some kids do like to wear their nice shoes or their fashion boots or their um, Timberlands, their work boots to school. Um, since those aren't safe to move in, they could always leave their sneakers in my office um, and leave them there for the year. So that way they could just change into their shoes at the start of PE class. This is the uniform for kindergarten to grade four. Same situation as our blue shirts, but now it is red. So again, you could, you know, wear your red sweatpants or your red shorts um, if you're not comfortable wearing um, the khakis. Now for my younger girls who like to wear those cute little jumpers, um, if it has a skirt, make sure your child is wearing shorts underneath or better yet, um, not have them wear the skirts on PE days because um, sometimes they can't do some of our activities in their skirts. So either throw some um, shorts underneath them or have them save those for um, their non-PE days. And here's a couple examples of some sneakers. Again, no Crocs, no flats, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, families are expected to log into PowerSchool to keep track of their PE grade. Um, we'll be using Google Classroom, um, especially my grade four and up. Um, they have their own PE Google Classroom where I'll be making announcements and we'll, making, we'll be making goal setting for our fitness. Um, I've already sent out invites. So um, a lot of students have signed up as of today. But um, please, if your child has not accepted the invite to their Google Classroom, please have them do so tonight. For my kindergarten to grade three kids, I will be joining their classroom teachers. So for example, if um, Miss Collette, she's one of our first grade teachers, I'm gonna be a co-teacher in her Google Classroom. Um, so that way I could just join them and they don't have to worry about signing into another Google Classroom. I know that's a lot for the little kids. Um, here's how you can contact me um, and communicate anything with me. I love using Class Dojo. It's like text messaging you through the app. Um, so that's how I like to make announcements to you um, as a family about participation and behavior or if there's something going on in the school building. Once I get your Google form with your email, I will um, invite you to the Google Classroom. Or for some of the classes, uh, say for grade four, Miss Anzalotti, I join her Google, her class dojo, I'm sorry, her class dojo, so that way um, we can communicate all in one spot. Um, students are expected to follow our three Bs of our school. Um, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. We talk about this all school year, what it should look like, what it should sound like, and students have the opportunity to earn blue tickets. Um, you know, as they are following the three Bs. And this goes like into a lottery system where um, Miss Goodrich goes around on a cart with some really cute prizes. And um, if their name is drawn, they get to earn that prize. So especially our younger kids, they love earning their blue tickets. These are our PE expectations. Every class A safe arrival and dismissal. Um, they should be walking into my gym and they should be leaving the gym walking, getting ready for their next class. Um, this is a huge safety thing, and um, I really stress this. Um, being a good listener at all times, gum, beverages, and food is to be consumed outside the gym. Um, I am allowing water bottles since our water fountain um, situation is down. Um, a lot of them are leaving them in the classroom, so we don't forget them in the gym um, because that's becoming a situation. So I encourage the kids to leave their water bottles in the classroom and then they could always go back and have their drink of water at the end of PE. Um, being kind and respectful to classmates, being responsible with equipment and gym property, and then I always have them ask permission to use the restroom, <clears throat> excuse me, because it's more of a situation of I want to know where they are just in case we have a fire drill or um, a um, lockdown. I want to know where they are. It's not that I ever say no, <coughs> excuse me, it's more of just knowing who is where. And same thing for asking um, to leave the gym. So as I was saying, students walk into the gym and sit in their assigned seats this year, which is their home base. Um, you cannot see them, but there are little pieces of colored tape 
that um, match their colored squad. So along the wall here, you see different color uh, squads. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there are little pieces of tape on the floor to assign them where to sit. So students are lined up with their colored squad and their number. So on this picture, it has one, two, three, four, five. So for example, Susie Q is red one. She's gonna match herself up with the color red and the number two. <coughs> Students have been doing a great job um, with their home bases. And then once they're seated, we pass out hand sanitizer while we go over lesson objectives and expectations, which I can show you in a moment what that looks like. For my little kids, we are really learning how to listen to my whistle. And this goes through all the way through eighth grade. Um, so when they hear my whistle, like this emo, or not emoji, this picture right here, they need to stop moving and talking. They need to look at me and listen to me. So that is a big expectation of listening to my whistle. <coughs> at this time, you're gonna go fill out the Google form as a family and sign to confirm that you have read through these slides and understand the grading policies. And if you wish to continue this slideshow, which will be in the Google Classroom, you can see the additional information your child learned the first week of school in PE, like about arrival and dismissal. This is how I show them how they can earn their grades, what units and lessons um, should look like, how to use the equipment, all about fitness testing, which is really important. Grades four through eight will participate in fitness testing. What to do if we have nurse injuries or emergencies and lockdown procedures and the fire drill procedure. So this will be in your, um, in your child's Google Classroom. So you can review it at any time. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and at this time, please fill out that Google form um, so to confirm that you have gone through all this grading policy. And we'll ask for you and your child um, to sign, which means just typing your name. Um, so that way the students take responsibility for looking through this slideshow and understanding how they are graded as well. Um, thank you for going through this with me, and um, I can't wait to, you know, have a good year with your kids. We're having so much fun already. Take care, everyone. Bye.